Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. We're in Alpha 5, a new update, and that update brings ramming damage, better ballistics, improved damage systems, new ship models, and new missions. And the new mission is what I'm going to be trying today. Well, along of course with potentially ramming damage and the other ones that I mentioned, because they'll be, well, sort of implemented into the game anyway. I'm going to be trying the Wounded Beast mission. The objective is that your German battleship is damaged and is hunted by the British fleet. I need to sink a couple of battleships. Your battleship will start the battle slightly damaged and will be escorted by a heavy cruiser. The British fleet is hunting you and wants to sink you at all costs. Two British battleships are leading the attack and are your primary, sorry, your main priority. If you sink those ships, we can declare victory. But, of course, you cannot succeed alone. Two of our battle cruisers, one of them is designated as a large cruiser, are reaching your position. Converge your forces and counterattack in order to set up a trap against the opposing fleet. Now, that means that I will build a battleship for about 110 million. I can get supreme main guns, which gives me better gun aiming speed, accuracy, and, well, basically accuracy overall. Gives me more components or just balanced tech. Um, I'm going to go for the guns. I will have the objective of sinking the two battleships. I'll also be engaged by a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, a light cruiser of a different build, and five destroyers. I need to sink all their battleships and keep my battleship alive. So let's see what I can build in this new Alpha 5 version. Uh, the ship is called the Friedrich der Größe. I'm gonna... Oh! Okay. So apparently you cannot adjust the range slider. Maybe not in this mission or not overall. I don't know why this has been changed, but apparently this is one of the changes. As for the rest, I have a maximum displacement of 82,500 tons, but that of course will also cut into my profit or into my uh, cost. Let's not go for a massive ship because I might need to invest a bit more in armor and potentially uh, maneuverability. And having a ship of 82,000 tons is not going to help if you're trying to maneuver. What I think might be important in this particular mission is the ability to run away, to pick when I fight and where I fight, especially if I can uh, team, uh, team up with the other cruisers. So I'm going to go with a ship that can do 30 knots. This might be too much. I don't know. I haven't tried the mission yet. Uh, I can either pick... Oh, I don't have a choice. I can pick turbines or gear turbines, but beyond that, nothing. I'm going to go for oil, forced boilers... As for the auxiliary engine, this is going to help me with acceleration, but also with the water pumping and the ship repair. So AUX3 could be very important. Shaft, I don't think it's going to be that important to adjust the propeller shaft that much. It's going to allow for faster repair, a bit faster turning rate. Yeah, I'll go to the middle ground. Armor, Krupp 5. Sorry, Krupp 4. It's going to make it more expensive, but also give me more weight to play around with. Barbette armor. Let's go for heavy barbettes. I might still upgrade this later, depending on how I design the rest of the ship. Anti-flooding 2, citadel. Hmm. All or nothing, or turtle back. It's always such a trade-off. The resistance and the ammo detonation. This is less ammo detonation chance. This is more resistance, but a greater chance of ammo detonating. Uh, I think all or nothing is better, because what I cannot afford to get is engine damage. So, Citadel 5. Explosive type. Let's go all the way for high TNT. I'll get a Generation 2 radar. That is going to be important, because it's going to be probably quite expensive. Hold on, it's not? That's new. Oh, never mind. It's going to boost the main tower cost by 100%, and I haven't deployed that yet, so... I'll feel the effects in a minute or two. Stereoscopic rangefinder and advanced radio telegraph. Electrohydraulic turrets, autoloaders. Maybe I'll also add torpedoes. All right, main tower. I have only one choice. Let's see where I can put my barbettes, actually. And how big can the guns get? 18 inch, mark three. Tempting, but very heavy. Maybe better to go with something smaller. So if I want to bring in a huge barbette, I'll probably do that there. Then have a gun turret in front. And then have the main tower connected behind it. 
So it would be like that. And then we'd have the secondary tower behind it. Ooh, that's a big thing. Holy shit, I don't have the money for this. I really don't have the money for this. I'm gonna have to go with something far, far smaller. Or reduce any of these specs that I've currently selected. Uh, Uber Funnel 3. <laughs> I got 3 million to work with in order to build my guns. Mm -hmm. That's uh, optimistic. Centerline guns. This is Mark 4, Mark 3, Mark 3, Mark 3. 15 inch Mark 4. Maybe I can go without that barbette and just put them over here. Yeah, I know I'm running too expensive. <coughs> After weight offset is pretty important. Let's just drag the whole thing forward a bit. Oh! I'm not sure why I did that. Come on. Attach. Uh, slide back a little. Oh no, slide forward actually. I have an, a pretty pretty huge off aft weight offset. Let's bring that turret forward a notch. Let's bring the aft island back a notch. Okay, so I am 10 million over budget. Hmm. Let's reduce displacement. Because that is a way to make the ship quite a bit smaller. And also save a lot on my costs. Alright, again. Main tower. Over, oh, that's a secondary tower. Main tower over here. Secondary tower behind it. Uh, I want another gun here. Thanks to the person who pointed out that I can just middle mouse click my uh, existing turret and use that as a way to pick up and just copy it because that saves me quite a bit of time. All right, we're reducing to 55,000 tons. It still fits, mostly. I'm still trying to fight the aft weight offset, but it's not easy. This is as far forward as I can put my island, my main tower. <clears throat> so this is just going to have to do it. Uh, I still have too much of a displacement. 52,500. Smaller battleship, but at least it's well protected. Anti-torpedo. Two. Anti-torpedo four. Yeah, I still have a bit of armor, or a bit of uh, displacement and a bit of cost to play around with. Secondary guns. Right, Mark 4, Mark 4, Mark 4, Mark 3. I do prefer the Mark 4s because I find them to be more accurate. If I want to bring torpedo launchers, I can fire those torpedoes out at the range of 9.3. If I adjust those, I can only pick fast, which is going to cut my torpedo range in half, meaning that my torpedo range is going to be, what, 4, yeah, 4, 8. No thank you. If I can slide a couple of torpedo tubes in there, then I might be able to send out a couple of torpedoes against an enemy battleship. Aside from that, I want to have secondary guns to keep DDs at bay. In the previous video, I have seen just how important that can be and how much that can save your life. Oh, I was hoping I could put 5-inch guns on there. I can put 4-inch guns on there. Alright, 4-inch guns it is. We have a four weight offset of a little bit, but I cannot really get rid of it. Yeah, 0 0.9. Okay, that I can live with. 0 0.2. Do I need to do anything more with my armament? Or can I just stack the rest in armor? I have two double six inch guns secondaries. I have eight four inch guns per side. I got my torpedo launchers. Maybe if I slide these back a bit more, I can put another 6-inch secondary turret here. It gives me a bit... Hold on, why do I have a starboard weight? Oh! That's why I have a starboard weight offset. Now I have an aft weight offset of 0.4. That's acceptable. Can I 
fix that. One point, no. All right. Oh, the torpedo launchers don't quite fit. Come on. Just fix this, yeah? There. Good firing arc as well. I can almost fire these things out the front. Speaking of firing out the front, I might be able to fit those here. No. Well, actually, yes. Oh, those are the underwater tubes. Derp. There, now I can also fire torpedoes out the front. This might allow me to sink those bottle ships faster, but I wouldn't be surprised if the torpedo tubes are not going to be long for this world. If they're just going to go down very quickly. Right, 4,000 tons to play with and 8, 000, or 8 million. Let's go for maximum bulkheads. Increasing survivability armor-wise. I have 11-inch belt armor, 6-inch extended. I want more on my turrets. Oh, the turrets already have 13.9. Oh. Never mind then. <clears throat> That's a bit much. I don't need to boost those. I want to boost the conning tower. I want to boost the belt armor a bit more. Let's go for a bit more belt extended armor. Can I get to 8 without running into trouble? Yep, so far so good. A bit more deck plating. A bit more deck extended. I'm getting really close to the limit. There it is. Ah. I'm trying to round these numbers out. No, it doesn't fit. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> this is what we're going to run with. Friedrich der Größe. Displacement, 52,500 tons. Speed, 30 knots. Allows me to maneuver pretty quick. As for my course change, it's going to take me 60 seconds. I can uh, I can achieve a pretty damn good turning circle, 500 meters. I can detect torpedoes at 1.8 kilometers out. Eight 15-inch guns, which reload in uh, about half a minute, 29.6 seconds. I got eight uh, secondary guns per side, a 4-inch. I have three secondary, or sorry, six secondary guns of six inch per side. I have my two by fours on the stern and my two by threes on the bow. And I think that this is about as good as I can get it with the limitations that have been set, or at least as about as good as I can get it. Um, rather, this is the ship I want to take to battle. Let's go. <coughs> Supposedly, she will be a little bit damaged, and that could mean that I'm going to be on fire points, maybe taking some structural damage. Let's, because I'm going to have to try to link up with the battle cruisers, combine firepower, and then try to whack those British battleships. Here we go. The Germans. One battleship, two battle cruisers, and a heavy. The enemy. Oh, that looks like a Nelson build. Two battleships, a heavy, two lights, and five DDs. Stop. Right, what do I have? The De Grosse has taken a bit of structural damage. She's down to 85%. Lots of the armor looks like it's taken damage. The ship itself? Not really. Uh, the armor or the damage model hasn't changed, so I suppose it's just uh, an overall sort of debuff. The heavy cruiser. This is the bottom. 8-inch guns. Triple. 3-inch, 2-inch, more 2-inch, and torpedo tubes. Uh, with a range of 9.5, 21-inch tubes. Very good. My battle cruisers. Whoa, how far are these away? 66 kilometers? Bloody hell, I hope they're fast. Oh, they are. Damn, they're fast. 41 knots. 41 knots on these things. So this is the uh, Wuppertal and the Seidlitz. Surprisingly, the Seidlitz seems to be the leader of this group. I don't really get why. And it's also a different build. This is a battle cruiser that does 36 knots. Has few bulkheads, 14 inch guns. Uh, eight of those in total. Eight inch secondaries, four, three and two inch secondaries. Displacement 34,000 tons versus the uh, Wuppertal's 30,500. Right, I haven't seen the British yet. 
the game does indicate where they are. Enemy smoke spotted to the southeast. I think that's relative to the Friedrich. Uh, if the battleships are indeed... Yep, yeah, they're coming over from my stern somewhere. I'm going to try and link up the formation first. So it's time to take the De Grosse over to that side. The heavy cruiser can not quite keep up at 26.5. This could be a problem. Now I hope that my fire control is going to be better than theirs. And that that will allow me to control the battle. Make sure that I stay at range. Don't get torped. Unlike my last vid, I don't want to get torped. The heavy cruiser does not have hydro, so I won't be able to see the repeaters coming. But hopefully my radar will pick up at least the battleships and destroyers before they even launch torpedoes. Alright, let's uh, speed up to 10 times. I'm heading that way at 30 knots. They're heading my way at about a top speed of 36.5 and 41. So we should be linking up really quick. There we go, we're now about 60 clicks out. Enemy spoke spot at southeast, yep. Range 57.5, it's really going down fast. That's what I want to see. Link up. And then we're going to turn around. Once we have a, a solid formation. Actually, let's get the degrees to slow down a bit because my heavy cruiser is lagging. What's the sightless doing? The Sightleads is the slower of the two. I think the Sightleads is following the Wuppertal. But for some reason it got spawned in front of it. Wuppertal is doing third is doing four thirty four seven. Sightleads, I think, is trying to keep up. We have eyes on the British. What do we have here? Uh, a Nelson ish kind of design. Six guns on the bow, two guns on the stern, a couple of secondaries. Those could be... what is that, five or six inch? Range to target, 21.6. We have a lock on, we're engaging the target. No idea about their armor scheme. I'm also seeing another radar blip down there. Apparently the game thinks that HE currently is the best option. Where's the other ship? Further back. All right, good. I don't expect a lot of accurate fire at this range because it's 21.4. My guns start to get more accurate at around, let's say, 17.15. That's when I'm seeing double the accuracy that I get now. I hope that I don't run out of shells halfway through the battle too. <clears throat> that could be a problem. Range to the battle cruisers. 45. Excellent. Alright, I want the Friedrich to keep firing. See if we can bloody their noses a bit on our way out. Link up. That's the primary. I wonder how fast these things are. Because from what I remember, the Nelsons were not terribly quick. Whoa. They are firing, although. Prioritize this ship. Shit, what are you firing with with secondary? Is that the heavy cruiser? Yeah, I think my heavy cruiser is under attack. The bottom. Bottom, where are you going? Get over here. Do not engage the British. We don't have the firepower. They have a big advantage here. And I want to strip it away from them. Run, Baden. Run. Shells are still flying way over this warship. 20.6. I'm doing 24, so I'm getting a slight cruise bonus. Oh, come on, start hitting. I want to see what kind of damage I can do against this ship. So far, I haven't taken nor inflicted any damage. Beyond what I started with. Oh, that's a DD. 
So that means that this ship's gonna disappear into a smoke screen pretty soon. The bomb just took a hit. She's on fire. <coughs> Probably down to secondaries from that battleship. Because I haven't seen the primaries hit yet. But I don't think that's gonna take too much more time. I'm a bit disappointed with the accuracy from the De Grosse so far. Range to the Wuppertal. 36-3. Very good. Maintain cruise. The bottom is still doing 26-4. So I'm very slowly getting the bottom close to the Friedrich. But unfortunately for the bottom, it is not my objective to keep the bottom alive. So I might lose that ship. And I won't lose any sleep over it. Still no hits. Ah, damn it. Um, target fast speed. Minus 80% accuracy. We're targeting a battleship and it has very high speed. That is concerning. At least it's not following me at that best speed. Oh shit, the bottom took a big hit. 290 points of damage. She's flooding and on fire. She could be an important asset to use against the destroyers. And potentially other lighter ships. Follow the Grosse as best you can. Expected speed? 25-ish. Lost sight of the bottom. So they don't see me anymore. That's what happens if you don't cruise directly towards my ship. I'm going to start setting this to save ammunition. Because I don't want to blow all the shells on just missing stuff and then find that by the time that I actually get into the battle I am out of ammo that'd be a bad way to go notification 50, 74, 30, 11 still nothing I think they have lost sight of everything No joy. Oh, the bottom has been spotted. She's back in the eye of the battleship here. Probably one of these destroyers is to blame. I think they might have gotten too close. Bottom, what are you doing? It's set to follow the De Grosse, but it's not really doing it. Come on, buddy. There's another hit to the bottom. She's now down to 78. Could I please land a single shell on this warship? I supposedly have excellent fire control. Why am I not seeing the results of that? Nope. No joy. Alright, battle cruisers. 25. Very soon the battle is about to turn. And so are the ships. Are turning starboard a bit. I want the battle cruisers to link up with me more or less here. Hopefully, this means I can also get the bow turrets involved in this fight and double my damage output, which so far is, well, twice nothing. Baden so far has not been hit. Not anymore, that is. Identification 99%. Tell me what you have. What are we looking at? Resolution. 42,600 tons. 33 knots. She is fast. She only has a few bulkheads, though. 14-inch guns, which reload in a little bit less than my 15-inch. 8-inch, 7-inch. So those were not 6, but 7-inch guns. 4-inch and 2-inch. And that probably also immediately... No! Actually, it's a different ship. I didn't even check that, but I thought that the two battleships were going to be the same class. They're not. This is a different ship class. Alright. Do we know anything about the destroyers yet? Soon. Very soon. 
91. Still nothing. I've already thrown about 130 shells that way, and I still haven't hit a single thing. Cease fire. DD, 97%, 98. Come on. I want to know what range the torpedoes are. 100. Torpedo range, 8.1. Not a threat. Famous last words, but right now I don't really consider it too big of a threat. Oh, Jesus, I've been setting the secondaries. Idiot. Alright, Baden, still at 78. Wuppertal currently 15 clicks away. Sightleads, 19.7. The Sightleads is lagging behind a bit, which is to be expected because she's 5 knots slower than the Wuppertal. <coughs> I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but uh, I'm not exactly German. Are they guys are they closing yet? The sharpshooter. Okay. Range twenty-two. Ah, we got identification on the monarch. Fifteen inch guns. Currently going for the heavy cruiser. It does have underwater torpedo tubes. Twenty-four inch range thirteen two. Big torpedo tubes. Oh, I just got hit by another fourteen inch gun. So that's another gift from the resolution, apparently. Uh, she got overpinned. Taking a bit of fire. Many bulkheads, so it should be controlled pretty quick. Now, I'm sorry that this battle is not very exciting yet. Hopefully, once I actually start to return fire with all of my ships, it's going to get a lot more intense. Range 6-3. Very good. Very good. The Wuppertal is here. And that means that the Sightleads is not too far behind. 9.6. Excellent. Alright, I want the Wuppertal to join the division of the battleship. And the same goes for the Sightleads. I wanted the Grosse to slow down a bit. Uh, slow to 22 knots, in case you weren't doing that already. No, I don't want all of you guys to do that. Oh, this drags everything. Okay. In that case, 28 knots. Baden. Under fire, but alright. Friedrich the Grosse, start turning around. Hello? Fred? What the hell? <coughs> oh! Shit! It's considering the Wuppertal to be the lead fleet because the Friedrich is taking some damage. That's my problem. That's why she won't listen. Okay, so the two battle cruisers are tasked to follow the De Grosse in. As the De Grosse is going to make a turn at, uh, let's say, 22 knots. That should give the battle cruisers a bit of time to catch up. And the bottom. Well, more or less follow the De Grosse as well. There we go. Battlecruiser Wuppertal is now opening up with its 11-inch guns. Accuracy probably leaves quite a bit to be desired, but we're just bracketing shells for the moment. Trying to get an aim built. Penetration chance is already 38. That's not bad. Open up. Time to start fighting back. Wuppertal should start turning left. And joining formation. Oh, that was a big hit on the bottom. Side leads with the 14 inch guns also opening up. Could I please start doing some damage now? Could anything just hit this British ship? Range to target 14... Sorry, 16 clicks. Nope. 
This ship is leading a blessed life. Oof. 124, 194, 172. Yikes. The Baden is now seriously taking a beating. Going broadside doesn't help. The fuck are my battlecruisers doing? I told them to follow the De Grosse, not to charge in like an idiot. If I'm telling them to follow, I'm actually expecting them to sail behind the battleship, but that's not what they're doing. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Anything hit, please, maybe? Yes? No? The bottom is seriously getting butchered at this point. 54%. <coughs> She's on fire in two separate locations. Fire's under control. Excellent. Jeez, I'm gonna have to get closer. Change fire. Engage the destroyers. I know they're inside a smoke screen. I know they're getting quite close. But I need these little things off of my back so I can start to close the distance. Get rid of the destroyer. Plural, preferably. Baden. Engage the destroyer. Oh dear. She's burning again. I need to slow these uh, battle cruisers down a bit. Speed to 26. Actually, I'm doing 22 with the lead ship. Reduce speed to 22 knots. Friedrich, 0.1% on the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter has not launched torpedoes because it's not in range. And here I thought that I designed a battleship that was supposed to be accurate. Not so much, I guess. Not so much. Nope. They're not inside a smokescreen anymore, so there's not really any excuse for these ships to keep missing. And I think I don't need much to sink a destroyer. Maximum bulkheads, though. One inch of armor maximum, but the speed is probably what's keeping them alive. Let's see. Yeah. Target fast speed. These things aren't even doing their maximum speed, but they're speeding up now. Alright, I'm going to play a pretty dangerous game with the battle cruisers. I want them to start charging in, using those secondaries to keep the destroyers at bay. Because I think they are mobile enough to be turning around. Look at this turning circle in the Wuppertal. Sure enough, she's hanging over to port pretty big, pretty much. But beyond that, I think she's alright. No hits on the sharpshooter yet. Maintain target, sharpshooter. Friedrich is down to 576 shells. That's bad. <coughs> Seriously, over the course of... What was it? 1 hour 20? I've done nothing. Not a single hit. And this ship? Looking for the DD, but does not have a hit. Or does not have any chance to hit. The DDs are carefully sticking to their range. All of these guys have 8.1, right? I don't want to subtly get surprised by a mouthful of torpedoes. No, everything is 8.1. Wuppertal's now taking fire as well. Come on. Oh, they're smoked up again. Range to the target. 10. Secondary should be able to fire. Yeah, they fire out to a range of 10 too. I think I might be playing my battleship too carefully. 
Still nothing. Now I'm in range. Wuppertal, start turning around. Nothing. Come on! Hit this sharpshooter. Hit this destroyer. Your life is now depending on it. Increase speed to, fl to full. Still nothing. Chance to hit 1.2%, 1.3%. There we go, the first hit of the battle. 29 damage. I know I'm risking the Wuppertal by turning around, but it's, I think, safer to turn her around than to get torpedoed, which is currently in effect. I am getting torpedoed by the Wuppertal. Sorry, by the sharpshooter. Come on. Der Größe is now also actively engaging the threats. So we can wipe out one of these lighter ships. Open up. Oh my god, there goes the sightlets. Well, we sunk the sharpshooter. But sightlets just got torpedoed, and I think we're not even done yet. There's probably more torpedoes on the way. The sightlets was the, the heavy, the battle cruiser with the bigger guns as well. What is this accuracy? Or the utter lack of it? There goes the side leads. Okay, we're finally getting a hit in on this light cruiser. Bloody hell. I thought the Germans were supposed to have accurate guns. Well, they don't. Wuppertal, increase the full speed. Your target is still the destroyer. The plucky over here. And maintain your course away from the target. Friedrich. Down to 82. She's now also actively taking fire. But I think she has the best chance of surviving this fight. Chance to hit is probably pretty dreadful here. 0 0.9. The plucky has taken damage and is flooding. If she cannot control that, she's going to go down to that. Very quickly too. Um, engage the monarch. So far, a little bit of damage, but nothing too severe. It's just that those fires could be annoying. Look at the amount of shells that she's taken. That's not good. <coughs> okay, it is getting bad. Turn to port. I feel like I'm getting fucked over by the game by a lack of accuracy. Because the Germans were definitely not hitting the ships, and the British absolutely were. Look at that. Full salvo on the Monarch. Nothing hits. Chance to hit? 1 point... No, sorry. 9.3%. I'm still not getting hits. But I am getting engine damage. I'm taking on flooding. I'm being set on fire. What the hell is going on? Another salvo. Still nothing. That didn't even bounce. Lucky six, finally. That's one less to concern myself with. That looked like a big hit on the Vantage. Vantage should be dead. What hit you? Oh, an 11 inch shell hit you. There goes the Vantage. Wuppertal, last target. The Rhineck. I'm concerned about the safety of my battleship now. Oh, finally, we're getting a hit. Monarch. Taking damage to engines, flooding, and on fire. Rudder has also taken a bit of a damage. There's another hit. Fire set. Many bulkheads. What we have here is definitely not a destroyer, but more like a light cruiser. No, actually, that's a heavy cruiser. That's a lot of guns. The Grosse is sort of kiting away. 6.9% chance to hit the battleship again. The Monarch 
is seriously flooding. No hits. Finally, I'm doing some damage. Took me way too much time. Let's get the bottom in a closer position to support the Wuppertal. The DD is heading away. Okay, so I can safely ignore the destroyer for now. Switch target. New target. Monarch. You just have 11 inch guns, but you're going to make those work. You have to make those work. Slow to half speed. Engines damaged. Come on. Nothing yet. Structural integrity of the Ghost is down to 55%. Monarch should be getting easier to hit as she loses speed. Some damage, but it's mostly fire and a lot of stuff is bouncing off. I'm getting tempted to just start blowing up these light cruisers. Because apparently they're not heavy, they're lights. Heavies don't set smoke screens. Wuppertal, once again, sending a salvo out. No, sorry, that was the salvo from the other ship. If I could sink the Monarch, that would be a big threat removed from the Wuppertal. There we go. Better damage to the main tower, better damage to a main gun. Salvo from the Friedrich unfortunately misses the target. <coughs> DD. Oh, it's a heavy cruiser here. Anyway, those fight cruisers here. What are they armed with? Torpedoes. Range 22 3. Jeesh. Couple of underwater tubes. Should be relatively easy to avoid. I want you to sail towards this, uh, the Wuppertal for a bit. Monarch takes some damage, but really nothing severe. Wuppertal switches uh, high explosive shells. Many bulkheads, but I think at setting fires might be currently a better way to go. Fire set. 112, flooding damage, inflicted by the Friedrich. Let's get these battle control parties overwhelmed. The guns have fallen silent from the Monarch. Another hit, a whole three points of damage. Wuppertal now has 18% accuracy, 18% chance to hit. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Another fire set. Friedrich has a 12% chance to hit. Very good. 11 damage. I still have plenty of shells left. Another fire set. We're going to burn you down. It's going to be very slow and very painful. Uh, Wuppertal seems to have attracted some fire from the cruisers. There you go. Another fire set. Well done. Remove the Monarch from this fleet. I'm not sure why she stopped firing. Because she still has ammo. She still has a decent accuracy. And I'm not seeing some sort of damage to their fire control party. Or their fire control system. So I think that might not be a problem. I don't know why they stopped. But I welcome it. Because if I don't take fire from 15 inch guns. Then that's going to make my ships a lot more survivable. Um, yeah, I want the Wuppertal to start moving this way, and then we're going to turn around and intercept the other battleship, the Resolution. Resolution is currently still facing off against the Baden. The Baden did send out torpedoes, at least on the port flank. Let's see if I can get them off on the starboard as well, because I'm only 4.3 clicks out from that ship. Resolution's taken zero damage from those shells. Uh, go for HE if you aren't already. <clears throat> Can I still see my own torpedoes? Torpedo launch confirmed. There we go. That's the torps. Are those fast torps by any chance? 
Well, they're 44.5 knots. They're pretty quick. Let's slow the battle down a bit because I'm trying to focus on too many things at once. Wuppertal, turn around. Join formation with Friedrich. Monarch, almost dead. Almost sunk. We're now getting an almost 20% accuracy from the Friedrich. Finally some accuracy here. More fires? No, nothing. Yeah, no hits either. Let's see if the torpedoes have arrived by now on the position of the resolution. No, they missed. Very close. She didn't take anything. She detected the torpedoes. And she uh, chose not to be hit. <clears throat> and I don't really want to get to bottom too close, but I would want to keep it around that 8-9 kilometer range so I can still keep torping. Uh, another flooding hit on the Monarch. Very good. Friedrich down to 45 and 88. Wuppertal down to 60 and 89. Wuppertal, what's your chance to pen? 36. Might be worth switching to armor piercing at this point. I really thought the British had this battle. But they might not have won yet. Ooh, there we go. More fire set. I'm hoping to cause more flooding because I think the ship's not that effective at fighting all those floodings. 0.6 damage. <laughs> Jesus. 40 to 142, actually. Very good. Friedrich. Baden. Uh, I might be in range of the resolution, but I think the resolution is trying to run. So far, we've burnt their stern a bit, but beyond that, done very little damage. I want you to start following the ship. Because your, I think, port or starboard torpedo launchers, I'm not sure which ones they are, are currently reloaded. <coughs> Come on, the Monarch just needs a couple more hits. She's already looking very, very bruised. A bit more. 13 structural, 19 floating. 13, no flooding, but structural took another big hit. How fast are these? 25, 23, 28, 39. The Retriever is definitely the fastest ship that they have. But fortunately for me, it does not seem interested in rushing out and torping me. Which it could probably do to great effect. I'm a bit concerned about the ammo count under the Grosse at this point. I only have 260 shells left. And I still need to do a lot of damage to the resolution. Which I think is definitely heading away. The Baden won't be able to catch her, nor will the Wuppertal or the Friedrich. Please don't tell me that you guys are just going to keep running away. Because I can only do 15 knots. I won't be able to get up to the position where that ship's going to be. Come on, finish her. Two hundred and six structural down to one. <coughs> Maybe that fire will kill it. Forty-three. Come on. There's nothing left of this ship. Another flooding. That's not what I want. I just want flat-out structural damage. Another 127, you're still here? How? What's keeping this thing together? Another 60. Wuppertal... Ooh, Wuppertal is also running out of ammo. 425 damage. Fire all over the ship. Structural down to 0.6. Come on. We don't have time, but more importantly, we don't have the ammo for this. Two 
2 damage. Friedrich. Fire a full salvo of HE. Go get him. 72. Destroy the secondary gun. Where's the Wuppertal? Where's the Wuppertal? Resolution is still on the run. The Grosse start following that ship. There she goes. Monarch's gone. Um... HE shells. I want you... Where's the resolution? Here. I want you to engage the resolution. The same goes for the Friedrich. Let the secondaries take care of the other ships. And please save some ammo. Because we don't have a lot left. But I'm very worried that we won't be able to get it. Because it's just going to run away. It's going to be one of those battles again, isn't it? Distance from the Baden is already 12. Distance from the Friedrich is 19. Alright, I'll just have to keep firing before I completely lose range on this ship. 1.5% oh, chance to hit. It's going to take a lot of time, if I hit him at all. Maybe I should, next time that I do this battle, because I can guarantee you that I won't win this one, I should make sure that my battleship has many shells. Just so I can constantly keep firing, because right now I can't. <coughs> Retriever is getting closer. Baden, you're still here. Despite everything that's happened, you're still here. Try to intercept the destroyer. Good hit! 405. The ship is a bit burned up. Let's see, how fast can the Wuppertal go? 27. Versus the resolutions 32.5 that she's currently doing. Out of a top speed of 33. I don't think I'm going to catch that. Eight three. Keeping a very close eye on this DD. The moment it launches torps, I want to know about it so I can start turning away. Oh, she's smoking again. She's firing with five and three inch guns. Come on, Baden. Oh, you you torped yourself. Let's see if we can get a torpedo run on the destroyer. <laughs> That'd be amusing. She probably will see those coming, though. Torpedoes from the starboard side. Launch. There are some torpedoes. Those could be the ones from the retriever. I think that those torpedoes won't... Well, actually, they might have still have the range to go for the Niobe. Yeah, there's another torpedo in the water. Baden. Uh, we have 15% chance to hit... No, no sorry, 50% chance to pen the Niobe. Chance to hit 4.6. Switch to auto selection of ammo and go for the Niobe. Damage to the resolution? Nothing. That thing is just going to make it out. <coughs> that pisses me off, because I thought that the AI had been fixed. In the sense that they wouldn't keep running away. And that's exactly what this guy is doing. She's not even firing anymore. She's just running. At least make an effort. Oh, I'm facing broadside. That's a bad idea. Uh, I hit the destroyer again for 61 damage. The Gross is on fire. I hit the heavy cruiser for 9.4 damage. Basically nothing. Baden, switch fire against the destroyer once she's out of the smoke. Yeah, she is out of the smoke. Uh, 
I might not be able to get the battleship, but I'll try to sink as many of the others as I can. Uh-oh. Okay, we're, we're pretty safe here. Hold off on the torpedo launches until otherwise directed. Turn to port. Retriever is taking some damage, but I want to see more. I want to see actual good hits. I want to see critical hits on this ship. 31. That could have wiped it out. Ammo dead. There we go. That's what I want to see. Alright, torpedoes. Those were... Shift right click. Alt right click. Green on the torpedoes. Aggressive launch. Send when ready. Light cruiser. Oh, the light cruiser just torpedoes. <coughs> Alright. Hard to starboard. Did I just get torpedoed? Yes, the Wuppertal got torpedoed for 840 damage. Goodbye. Baden is now messing up the destroyer. The Wuppertal sinks. That was the torpedo damage. I didn't look deep. I didn't see where the torpedo was going to head next. Torpedoes from the Baden going for the Calippo. Sorry, Calypso. It doesn't really matter for me if I continue this battle or not. My chances of winning have dropped to zero anyway. Because the AI once again run away. There you go. That's the Phoenix dead. What killed it though? Bow penetration. Belt penetration. 2291 damage. Good work on the bottom. Next is the Calypso. Might not be able to complete the mission, but I'll be damned if I don't take a, down a couple uh, more British ships down with me. Friedrich, just <coughs> head in that direction and start moving that way. Oh, I got hit by a torpedo. That's going to be the end of the bottom, I'm afraid. Good hit. Flooding on the Calypso. That was the 15-inch gun from the Friedrich. Oh, start turning, start turning, start turning. Get the destroyer if you can. Come on. She's almost down. There she goes. Those torpedoes were a bit wasted. That leaves the Calypso and the Niobe. I think all of those secondaries on this ship are just a big waste. And same with the torpedo tubes. I haven't fired those once. Because you just don't get into range. There's another set of torpedo. Or torpedo, singular. Flooding on the Calypso. So far I've traded two, uh, two heavy cruisers. No, two battle cruisers. For five destroyers. And I think two make that three light cruisers. I just try to sink this thing and call it a day. Oh, I'm down to 20 shells. I'd say the MVP of this battle is the Baden. Considering how much damage this ship has taken and how much damage she's been able to put out, this is a very, very good ship. What's the layout? Triple bow? Sing uh, um Triple stern. No, I'm not sure if that stern turret is still operational. It looks a bit, a bit damaged. I could argue. Torpedo tube location. Right amidships. Okay. No hits. Come on, get rid of that thing. <clears throat> it's either going to be you or her. Torpedo on the way. Is that going to be a threat to the Friedrich? It could be. Friedrich can't fire anyway. Because she's out of ammo. The Baden still has plenty left. 
1,800 rounds. Niobe is also firing with 8 and 2 inch. I think we're going to have to start turning left again. Because I'm seeing those torpedo tubes and I don't like that. No hits. Another torpedo launch. Good hit. That was a torpedo hit. From the bottom. Has to be. Niobe's slowing down drastically now. Suddenly going only 20 knots. 19-2. 18-3. 17-2. Sixteen. Thirteen. And <laughs> the bottom, still undeterred, charges in at a whole almost eleven knots. And she's suddenly starting to close the distance towards the Niobe. Or rather, the Niobe is not quite capable of opening up the distance. Eleven seven. I don't think I'll be able to hit that, or rather pen that. Switch to HE. Another torpedo launch from the bottom. Fire set, many bulkheads, fires won't really kill the ship, I think. Unless you're suddenly able to set a half a dozen on them. But beyond that, probably won't do it. No torpedo launch as of yet. Fire set. Where are those tubes? Those are on the stern. These are probably going to be the ones that try to torque me. <coughs> those are the, the dangerous ones. Twenty percent chance to pen. Is she turning around? What are you doing? No, she's just moving left. Oh, she torped. She torped. Hard to starboard. <coughs> and a whole 10 knots. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. And the De Grosse is not really anywhere to be found. She could still sink due to torpedoes, though, which aren't even meant for her. Niobe's doing 11. Oh, good hit. That was another torpedo hit. Well done. Interestingly, she's not that impressed with it. She's still doing 12-8. It did a load of damage, but I don't see much flooding. And I don't see any additional damage to your engines. Oh, fuck. I just took a torpedo hit. Four damage. I don't think that these are going to do much. Because the Niobe is perfectly straight next to them. Not likely to do much. Chance to pen? 11%. Oh, unless you just drive full on into the torpedo. <sighs> close. So close. I'm out of torpedoes as well. So I won't have to expect anything from them. What I don't get is why the Niobe 2 isn't firing. She has a 14% chance to hit. She has plenty of shells. Why are you not opening up? What if I tell the ship to go save ammo? A 20% chance that apparently passes the check. And she's still firing the bottom. At 15% maybe not so much. But I don't get this. This could very well be a bug. That the ship should actually be firing. Similar to what we saw the Monarch do. And similar to what we have seen the... Uh, 
uh, the Resolute do? She just ran and she started run she started moving off. And beyond that, she didn't really do anything. She just sat there. I don't get it. I think we're dealing with some bugs. First, the guns from the British were hitting and mine weren't. And not just once or twice, but for the duration of 18 minutes of battle time. And now I'm seeing that the ships which should be firing, the Niobe in this case, she simply isn't. So I think there's some, well, some weird stuff going on. Then again, the game is still in alpha. Uh, alpha 5 currently, so that could explain it. But come on. Stuff like this shouldn't be happening. Anyway, I'm going to write this up as a Pyrrhic victory to the Germans. Considering that I sunk quite a few more ships. The Baden is definitely the MVP here. She carried the whole team. Friedrich der Goese didn't really do that well. Uh, sure enough, it got some hits in, but the accuracy really failed this ship. But just, holy crap, look at that damage. <laughs> I'm surprised she's still here, looking at how blackened the ship is at this point. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end the battle. Um, I will try this again. I'm just going to have to design a different ship. No secondaries of the 4-inch caliber, because they're useless. And, well, hopefully, the ship will hit more. Because for some reason, right now, it's just not doing that. So you can expect to see this battle again at some point in the future. At which time I'll be having a different ship and hopefully more accuracy. See you guys then. And thank you for watching.